Hello, and welcome to another adventure. I'm your host, Lacey, and there's Bear. We are going camping this weekend. We are headed out to West Texas, where hopefully it's a little drier. It's a bit wet here. Um, it, we are super excited to be our first camping trip of the year, and I definitely need a weekend away. So, let's go. Good morning. We finally made it to our state park that we're visiting late like last night. And now I'm not telling you where we're going. Well, we are just yet. I'll show you here in a little bit. Um, it's late. We slept all right. We decided to put the tent in the dark. There was mouse in the bathroom. Lots of fun stuff. Uh, but really excited to be here and it's gorgeous. Welcome to Cap Rock Canyon State Park and Trailway here out of Kitakway. Texas. It is gorgeous out here. There's supposed to be bison. We've heard plenty of birds. We hike later today and it is just, this is a wonderful sight to wake up to. have an amphitheater, this one has got to have the best view. Just look at that. Oh, we're going to hike some of this here in a minute. But I had to stop and show you this overlook. trail. It is gorgeous out here. So far the trail is fairly flat, um, but these views are just fantastic. Alright, so trails like this are the reason that I practice um, making bear carry his pack on trails you know, at home where there is access to water, because out here most of these trails are like three to six miles, so there's not a whole lot of water. So he gets to carry his own. Bears! He's a happy boy. All right, so here's a big overview. You can see the canyons behind me. Um, Gabbard Canyon is actually home to Texas State Bison Herd, and I really hope you guys can hear me over the wind. Um, we saw some this morning off the road. We have not seen any on the trail. However, um, there's definitely signs that they've been on the trail recently. It rained here a couple days ago, and the trail is not torn up, torn up, but there's definitely some, there are some def very well-defined tracks <laughs> that indicate bison, uh, plus some droppings. If you do see bison on the trail, stay far away from them. They can hurt and potentially kill you. So, yeah, don't, don't try and pet the fluffy cows. Stay away. Come on, bud. <laughs> Alright. This is the uh, most prominent incline we have seen on this trail. We're headed down into the canyon a bit. I'm doing my best not to get pulled too far down by the bear too fast. So I am using a hands-free leash system, so uh, yeah, let's not fall. But look at this view, it is just absolutely gorgeous.
And according to my husband, there are some bison down here. So let's see if we can get a better look at them. But we're not going to get close. Because again, I don't want to die. So we're not currently sure what to do. There is a bison standing in the middle of the trail about 100 yards down, and that's definitely as close as we want to get. Problem is we don't know what they're going to do, so we don't know if we should hang out here on the side of this trail or if we should go back up. So we don't necessarily want to get back up in that tight ravine and uh, be too close. So yeah, we're kind of at an impasse for a few minutes. So in the interest of self-preservation, we decided to uh, turn around. <laughs> uh, that, that bison had no inclination of moving. He wasn't. He or she was not aggressive. They were just not going to move. So. Didn't have to. Nope. This is this is their home. We're just visitors. So we turned around and headed back to the trail. <laughs> really quite interested in finding out more about the bison. I, I, we, that was not going to happen. So he is tired because we pulled him up the hill rather fast because I think we were both paranoid that, uh, that bison was going to come up behind us. There's a good bear. Our hike might have been cut short due to the bison in the middle of the trail, but we still had a really good time. Um, we did get intimidated by a bison, we got yelled at by prairie dogs, and I'm pretty sure Bear conned us into turning around early and taking all the water out of his pack by acting like he was just exhausted. He was fine. As soon as we saw the, the main road, he was like, okay, let's go. Really cute. Pretty sure we got conned. I'll forgive him. Anyway. We stopped here at the Day Use area to have lunch. It is on the shores of Lake Theo. There's a whole bunch of these covered picnic tables. They all have um, grills, charcoal grills. Uh, Cap Rock Canyon is currently on a burn ban because, yeah, I'll, I'll show you Lake Theo and you will understand why. All right, so way off in the distance over there is Lake Theo. It should be right here. This is part of the charcoal grills, the day use area does have a uh, playground. It is the other direction. There's people over there, so that's why I won't show, show it. And there are restrooms, but they're a little bit of a walk. Not too far, but they're by the group area. So that all is available. Um, and it is all here on the shores of Lake Theo. The camping is farther up the road. <laughs> So we were going to take a nap, but that's not going to happen anymore because <laughs> uh, there, there's a bison hanging out at camp. So the South Prong and North Prong trails are supposed to have some really gorgeous views. There's actually supposed to be a really cool cave on them. However, they both have some pretty steep scrambles. Most of the time, not scared of that. However, the past eight months, both Kelt and I have uh, sustained ankle injuries. Nothing that's gonna stop us, but something that we're definitely gonna be cautious about. So, while those heal up, we are going to enjoy the trails a little bit farther down 
enjoy stuff that's a bit easier, but we will definitely be coming back to hike these gorgeous canyons. We made it back to camp. Our uh, unexpected visitor has left, but he did leave signs that he was here. So let me show you. I saw the footprints. And here, out here where my honey is, is where he was uh, napping. It looks like he walked up here a bit. There's the campfire pit. And the grill. Looks like he pawed the ground a bit here. Maybe you left this way? Yeah, so this was a fun little unexpected adventure. And there's the bear. He's not sure about what's all is going on. Good morning. Um, it is it's a wonderful night. If you guys stay out here, earplugs. Earplugs make things a whole lot better. So the only thing wrong with this campsite is that the open side of the uh, where the picnic area is faces east. So it is very bright and very warm in the morning, despite the fact that it's only like 50 degrees this morning, 55. That sun is just bearing down on us. Uh, but it's very pretty. Here is the picnic area, fire pit, the grill where we're making some blueberry scones. Yeah, it's a bit of a chaos. You can see our tent over there. Here was where the uh, bison was laying yesterday. Here's the bear. Breakfast this morning are blueberry scone, blueberry lemon scones uh, cooked on the, in the cast iron, actually to cover them. But this is the second batch. The first batch is already done. This one was the batch that had too few blueberries, so I might have added a few on top. Alrighty, these scones are finished off with powdered sugar lemon juice glaze. They're super delicious and they're fairly easy. The main change that I made is that I did not um, use lemon zest because I didn't have a zester out here while camping. I just used um, just a tiny bit of lemon juice. But I also made my own buttermilk. So it's just a cup of milk, a tablespoon of acid. In this case, I used lemon juice because I already had lemons for this recipe. All right, so a couple things to note about the little red tent camping area where we are. There's no water, there's no electric, and the restrooms are composting toilets. So make sure to bring water, make sure you don't have to plug anything in if you do have an external battery of some sort. Um, but other than that, the area is really nice. Um, the views are great, and <laughs> we've really enjoyed it. Here are the composting toilets. They're nothing fancy, and the occasional mouse might live in them. Hi, make sure to wear sunscreen. <laughs> uh, my, uh, my hiking shirt didn't do a whole lot of good when there was a bit open. Anyway, I'll do a couple of reviews here real fast. So the first thing was my Hiker Hunger blanket. It's a down blanket, super light, um, and it was great for hanging around in camp. It's warm during the day here, uh, at least in the spring, but it gets really cool at night. I think the first night we were here it was 40 degrees um, and it was fairly windy. Same with last night. So sitting around wearing this as a cloak um, was great. Just wonderful. So definitely suggest. My other suggestion, is this sleeping bag. I needed a new one, but didn't really want to pay the price on a lot of them. Um, and at REI, as part of the resupply, I found this trail breaker 30 degree bag. Uh, we don't really winter camp too much, so 30 degrees is fine for me. Um, and I slept like a baby. It was wonderful. So I think I bought, granted, I bought this at resupply and I bought it for like 30 bucks. Uh, but if it's something you're interested, I will put a link to this sleeping bag and this blanket below. They are affiliate links, so if you like them, you'll be supporting my channel. <laughs> Alright, books are always helpful. 
So our campsite we picked based on the suggestions in Best Tent Camping Texas. Um, it's got some great suggestions. The book that Kelton was showing up earlier is the National Op National Tree Society Field Guide to North America. Um, if you like stars, just a little guide. Although the moon was really bright this trip and so it was hard to see. And then this is the cookbook that the pancakes yesterday and the scones today were based off of, and even our steak recipe, but that one was more of just a suggestion. We actually followed the baking recipes uh, in this book, the other two. Taprock Canyon State Park has a number of these little informational kiosks around the park. This one in particular talks about the geologic history of the park and you can see it right in front of you. Just look at those different layers. I love it. You can particularly see the top layer that Ogallala, from where Ogallala formation on those uh, cliffs there in the center. The Dockham group is the middle layer and the Permian red beds are the bottom layer. Over here is the visitor center when you first drive into the park and all of this is prairie land. Prairie land with the gripe that the bison feed off of and then help nature. And then you come into the canyons. Here is some of the bison herd. There's even some babies in this group. Bear really wants to meet a bison. Well, he thinks he does. Let's see. There's one baby over here. There's one there laying down, and there's a guy rolling. There's another baby over here. What do you think about the bison? That's that's what he thinks. All right, honey, what do you think of Caprock Canyon State Park? Uh, it's gorgeous. As you can see, just the different layers of the geology going down, and it's uh, really quite something. Um, and it's uh, the, the two uh, examples of uh, this type of uh, topography in uh, this part of Texas are uh, Palo Duro Canyon and Caprock Canyons. And this is much more spread out. Palo Duro is uh, narrow and pretty prominent. This is much more spread out, but that doesn't mean that it's any less beautiful. Um, and it's uh, gorgeous. It's great to just sit here and just admire the view and listen to the birds and the breeze blowing through your hair. Um, I, I will say that it, it pays in this park to be uh, patient and adaptable because the uh, this is the bison's home and they just kind of hang out so uh, you know we on our trail hike yesterday we only went you know maybe about half as far as we intended to because that bison just didn't want to move and then when we get back to our camp intending to take a nap and bison's taking a nap in our camp instead so we had to uh, adapt and uh, move elsewhere do something else and let the bison be so that way they can enjoy their home Caprock Canyon was a fantastic trip, bison and all. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and check out my Patreon for more.